Here's a scientific machine learning fact to think about. So machine learning is really built around the idea that you have homogenous data, right? We, we think about it as like, oh, you have a lot of training data, but you actually, when you say that, you mean that training data all has to have the same form, right? You have many, many, many rows of data matching the same style, the same form, doing the same thing, so that we can put them in the same neural network and get the same output and write a loss function, right? Turns out that a lot of science does not have data like that. I mean, for example, if you think about general relativity, where's the one trillion row data set that will tell you that general relativity is true, right? You don't have that because that's not how we actually prove general relativity is true, right? We we know that from small examples of, you know, of the perihedron of Mercury, that gives us one data piece of point, right? We, we know from the way that the stars around a solar eclipse that have gravitational lensing, that's another prediction of general relativity. We know that the satellites going around have time di dilation around the Earth, that's another prediction of, right? And so we have all these small predictions and we go, oh, the only way that many of these experiments make sense is together by general relativity. But that's heterogeneous data, not homogeneous data. And it turns out that's something that you can't really do machine learning on because, you know, they're different data sets that don't have the same way of doing measurements that don't have the same data at all, right? But, you know, that's the thing about scientific phenomena. It predicts many, many things. And so what we're really doing with scientific machine learning is extending machine learning to allow for the knowledge that we have gained through heterogeneous data. That's another way to think about it.